What's going on, dudes? Uh, welcome back to Legends of Arceus. In the last episode, uh, we came here to the Alabaster Icelands, and then we did some exploring. We met uh, Irida's teacher. I forgot his name. Starts with a G. It's not really that important, I guess. Uh, we'll meet him again, because he's the, the warden for Avalug, who is the next noble. I forgot to mention, when this episode is uploaded, it's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> but we need to first get the help of Braviary. In order to do that, we gotta go up here a little farther. We have to go finish the game or whatever we did with Sammy. Sa S Sanny? I, for I forgot her name. Something like that. I wanted to go do s some other stuff in this game, but I uh, really didn't want to have to do this whole puzzle again. So I decided I should probably record at least me doing this. <laughs> I don't know how long I'm going to record next. It's already late. Um. All right, baby, you wanted to start a little string for yourself. I have to battle it now, too? Okay, great. What was... Is she... Did my character make different noises because we're in the snow? Weird. All right, let's go Cecil's Edge here. Oh, you know what? I genuinely forgot it was the psychic type. I, I I did that because I'm like, oh, it's a it's it's a good move. It does residual damage too. But that was literally the perfect decision. I also don't know why Samurai was up front. Probably because I just booted up the game. I didn't actually adjust it. Oh, I can't believe Bravery lost. That's that. Thanks for playing with me. Guess I'll head home now. Bye. Hey. I was kidding. Play along with me on your flute. She's the only one who doesn't hold it by the bottom. Which I thought is how you had to... Is what... you said That somehow made the articulation different. Even though articulation is... Obviously with the mouth. Don't mind me. All right, Bravia, open his heart and learn Wilma Sally and send you a play in. Got the sky plate. No, I just realized we're only going to get 10 total plates. Wonder what you where you get the rest of them from. Thanks, Sabi. Sabi? I think I called her Sabi last time, but... Sure, having a little flight around should be fun for Braviary. Yeah, I'm glad. Oh, world where people and Pokemon live and work together, huh? Tell me, why do you think the lightning that comes to the rift will cause these frenzies? Do you think this is Almighty Sido's anger, or do you think it's a trial it's putting to us? I don't think it's either. I think it's just uh, the disintegration of whatever created that portal to begin with. If it is a trial, we'll prove ourselves worthy. If it is a trial, if we prove ourselves worthy, we call the last noble Calm Avalog, then the rift really ought to close, right? Even if the new one who seems to be clearing this trial is a newcomer like you, not one of us who've been living here in a city for ages now. How come you're, you're playing all wise? Thought you were a big thinker, Hadaman. Well, I don't know. He seems to be a bigger thinker than Irida. Irida seems more concerned with how she, how she appears to everybody else because of her personal shortcomings. Hush, Sabi, I can feel history on the move. And as far as I can see, the one ushering in this new era is you. So if I stick it to you someday, I might get, might get to meet Almighty Sinner myself. The question is, is not an adamant fascinate you, or bore you to tears? Hmm? Anyway, it's time for you to go so over Braviary. If you jump away from here, Braviary can take you out and just about anywhere. Don't forget to get the eternal ice. That's why you need a Braviary in the first place, right? Yeah, apparently. Oh, it's an auto cutscene. I don't just do it. That looks like he's down there. Now go get a feel for flying Braviary. We need that to where the skies want to land. Just ask him to dive. All right. I guess it's kind of strange that we're not riding on the back of the Braviary, but I guess it all like, like the physics of birds. That kind of wouldn't make sense. But, but here we go. Hehe. <laughs>
Nice. All right. So how the hell does it? How do you go? Is it just you fly in the at that one height or what? I guess you can dive, but can you go up? And it doesn't seem so. Oh wait, there's something over here. I see a bergamite, but there's a. Is this the pearl pearl clan sediment? Dive bomb. It is. Oh, I thought for a minute they had like helmets like centurions, but that's a hat. So I do wonder if like when you equip Braviary, is there are you able to go up? Are you able to go higher or do you only start as high as you jump from? Oh, okay, as soon as you summon Braviary, just go straight up. Okay, at least that that's good. This is probably a really good way of getting around and like looking because you probably see a shiny pop up when it happens. That was exactly like the freaking oh my god, the paraglider in Breath of the Wild. Okay. Uh, Bergmite literally is about to evolve like seconds after I stopped the other recording. I'm using the OBS, the mic in OBS, so maybe a little... I don't know. It's fine though. What the fuck is on its face? What in the... What is that? What are you? An ice rock type. Why did you have to be a rock type, dude? I got a really good nature on this one, though, actually. I didn't pay attention to that at all. But... Ice rock. That point is very close to my face. Why couldn't it have been a nice steel type even? That would have been better. I, I sort of can understand. It would, if only it was a ground type. Okay, well, that's what Avalog looks like. All right, we back. Technically later in the same day, because I was recording that at past midnight, but off screen I did a little bit of things. I went searching and I found uh, Hisui and Zorua. I'll show you where I found it so that people who haven't found it yet uh, will have a little bit easier time finding it. But as you saw, we also evolved the Bergmite. I completely forgot what it was called. Uh, but we evolved Bergmite into Avalog, which is not what I expected it to look like. Um, unfortunately, it's an ice rock type, which rock overlaps, and Susanoo already gets KO'd enough. But I did look up where you find this Pokemon, and it says, like, you know, uh, specifically the Zora. I'm talking about the Zora. Where you find the, Z the Zoroa is uh, here in the the Bone Chill Waste. But then I was looking around here for a long time, like I didn't, I haven't found it yet. And then I decided, all right, we're gonna go inside one of these ice holes. So you come in here. This is also where I found Miss Drevis. Yeah, as you see, there's a Miss Drevis right there. I almost completed Miss Drevis. I got nine out of nine out of. 10 on Miss Drevis' dex entry just by finding them here. And that's probably going to get me up to 10. But this is the room where I found the Hisuian Zorua. Let's see if it'll spawn. Alright. Well, it hasn't spawned. But this is where I found it. So, pretty cool stuff. We now have Ruination, the, uh, the Hisuian Zorua. So, let's take a look at him. Normal ghost type. And, yeah. That's about it with a mild nature, not mild, bold. I don't know why I said mild, but it's fine. And then I have Arcanea, which is the name I ran a name I randomly came up with for for this guy, but I'm gonna change it because I can't, I I came up with an, a, a better name like later. I don't even, actually it might not even fit. Oh my god, it won't fit. We're gonna name Versum Getter Get Versum Getrix <laughs> instead of Vers, instead of Versum Getterix, which is a just a Celtic chief. And something about it, something about its dex entry, which I learned about uh, in a video I watched, made me think of him. Uh, anyway, it's not really that important. Oh, wait, there's one. He's over here this time. I didn't find any of them over here. I'm, I might have to fight this stupid ghastly here because it won't leave me alone. Oh, we fell asleep. Also made some of the gigaton balls, which are... I can make a ton of these. These are the, uh, the higher leveled... Like, the, the best kind of the heavy ball, which you still can't throw them any distance at all, so they're still bad in that sense. Also, down there is the ice stone. 
I don't know if it works that you're able to evolve Eevee by like being by it and leveling up because you can just use a normal ice stone on it. But that's pretty cool. All right, we're going to move on and we're going to go. Uh, oh, he's going to knock me down. OK, well, it damaged me, but it didn't knock me out of the sky. At least we're going to go attempt to quell Lord Avalog, which is obviously we know now is a rock. Uh, whoops, that was a waste of a wing ball is a, uh, a rock ice type which I'm going to end up using my Gudra for since I am four times super effective against it. Oh, there's a Alpha Mamma Swine here all of a sudden. Like, literally was inside of Garrick or whatever his name was. By the way, I still haven't found anything relating to the catch rates of the, the better uh, jet or the better feather in heavy balls, what they actually do catch rate wise. So I don't know if jet balls have a better uh, like distance you can throw them or better catch right but we caught the mammoth swine so let's move on up here and get the ice for the boy for lower avalug sup arceus your arc phone is beeping yeah no shit what what was the point of the all right anyway we got the eternal ice what was the point of the thing beeping <laughs> At last, the summit is conquered. And I see you made it, too. Flew down this place and obtained the eternal ice, did you? I, I actually flew up from below it. Which of that burning zeal of yours, I wonder? Destiny. Give Garrick the eternal ice. I do have to respect the effort you put in. I still have my own doubts weighing on my mind, but I will make the necessary preparations so you can face my lord Avalog. Maybe at Ice Peak Arena. Which is where? I mean, it'll, it'll be marked in the map, so I'll figure it out. Now don't try to be, repeat the wondrous feat you're about to see me perform! I told you about this can only be managed by highly toned bodies like mine. Till next we meet. Yes, because... <laughs> you, you, your body tone is exactly what determines uh, how gravity affects you. For getting mana fee, you get three comet shards. That's pretty good. I need to get an overquill. Which you have to use like 20 strong style of its specific signature move in order to get it to evolve. Overquill is the evolution of Coolfish. Uh, which looks really stupid. I'm gonna be honest. Alright, we set up the new base camp. <laughs> Clintus, I don't know if the Pokemon live in this fridge basic by the energy deaths about as they do. Do you have an answer inciting fat perhaps? Must be some trick to it. Thanks for the insight. Oh, I speak arena just in the middle of everything. Oh, no. We have to go here first instead of up here toward the arena. That's... I thought that big circle was the arena, but... <laughs> anyway, not important. Hey! Holy, that got Ruination four levels of experience. Let's get us a Hisuian Zorark. Look at that emo motherfucker. God, that is wild. You know what's funny? Is that I... Looks like season four. I don't know. So, let's do it. Fuck it, why not? Oh, it's Volo again. Hello, Volo. Ah, why if it isn't Olivia? What a pleasure finding familiar face or any face in this far corner of the Alabaster Islands. I came to be get a Garrick in order of sword caps, and he was more than willing to have a chat about Avalug. What do you say? Interested in a bit of gossip? Uh, no, but w sure, why not? And why wouldn't you be? So Avalug, yes, the fifth of the Sui's nobles. There he, that he is, and you know what? He's an absolute beast. Well, yes, according to what I was told, not only does a barrage you with chunks of ice, he also fires up massive icicles and he costs sharp ice crystals to erupt from the ground below you. Doesn't that seem a bit too powerful to take on? What's more, apparently the Avalug of old could be up to 100 feet tall. Doesn't that seem a bit too big to take on? Oh, you'll be alright. You just have to eat some sword caps and give you training, you're all... Nothing better for building muscle than that. Uh, that was... Anyway, it's fine. Onward now to the arena! Everything in this fucking game is a cold treat, so... 
Hmm, yes, well, I did want to see the Avalok, but perhaps not at the cost of my life. So I suppose my, freeze, my freezing digits and I would be off. Alright. The fact you can't make bravery go up is irritating. I mean, obviously, the, far, the longer you go, the more you will drop off. Alright. So we were to quote the Avalog as you wished. In the end, the strength of your feelings won out. Or maybe your real strength comes to the way you walk among both people and Pokemon. Well, I suppose to get to work making some bombs using that eternal ice. I've heard how they're made, and with muscles like mine, it'll only be a moment's work. And there you have it. If you truly wish to quill Avalog and walk on, the path lies before you. But if the Avalog were whole chunks of icing you without relent, you'll need, uh, you'll need unrivaled dodging ability. I'm going. Oh! Alright, that's the first time that's happened. Normally they give you the chance to save. Well, YOLO. The only time I've actually really fainted is the Battle of the Arcanine. Oh! Okay! Um. How was he that big? All right, well, this might be a problem. I can't... Am I allowed to leave this platform? Got, actually, it's not even like Elgato lag as in like it's normally lagging, it's frame lag. Holy. Just don't eat my inputs, please. Oh, I dodged backwards and I wanted to dodge to the left. Oh my god. Alright. Oh, uh, let's do it. Come on, Bernie, you got this. His face takes up the whole screen. Alright, strong style iron head. Should probably just one shot. I don't know what level he is, I wasn't looking. 56, yeah, should probably one shot. It, oh, well, this thing has amazing defense. That is right. Mountain Gale. Oh, it hit me too. Ow. Alright. Iron headed again. I dodged too early. I keep... Alright. Nope, that didn't work. Alright. I hit it too many times too early. Yep, I wondered if that would happen. Now that wasn't even my fault! I, the game literally could not dodge fast enough to keep up with that. God, I was doing so fucking good, dude! I was annihilating that! Then, alright, those things at the end, the game literally could not dodge fast enough. Yeah, but you could see it. You probably could hear me spamming the button, too. What? Why did you start that so fast? You didn't even give you time to fucking... I've, I've got it done halfway, and I've only sent in Gudra once. So. Yep, this is only the second time he's doing this. I can't... Move fast enough! Alright, I was genuinely holding left and she dodged forward. Get up! Motherfucker! That time the game literally didn't even dodge. I think that it's genuinely lagging enough that it's eating my inputs. God damn it, dude! 
Wait, it said continue battle. What does that mean? You have to be like fucking perfect to dodge all that shit, dude. Oh my god. We're gonna get it this time. He didn't hit Bernie last time. <sighs> it shouldn't have taken three tries. I should have had it first try. Fuck you. You're gonna die. God, that was fucking dumb. Wonder what continue battle would have done. We got the icicle plate. Somehow. Garrick, sir, you didn't you didn't look quite so downcast. By seeing how many ever quelled and by such a slight child, child that fell from the very sky, is it like you grow some kind of monster in disguise? She's no monster. She's the one who risked her life without a second thought in order to quell our frenzied, suffering nobles. Olivia, Garrick cares for the Proclam with all his heart and believes in Almighty Sinnoh just as deeply. So he has feared more than any of us that you're getting involved with the Diamond Clan and Galaxy and cause our people to flag in their devotion to Almighty Sinnoh. But that will change. Irida. I know your fears have changed. What will change once you see what I've seen? Livy has much to teach us. She's shown how we can overcome all manner of strife as long as our Pokémon are with us. She's made me want to help Glacian realize greater strength as well, and I see my whole world grow broader. It seems you've already changed, Irida. I knew you could pull that off, Olivia. You quelled every last frenzy noble. So is the space-time rift going to start closing up now, or what? There's little way of knowing for sure that the rift has seen perhaps a little smaller, somehow. Let's hope so, anyway. Well, with any luck, things will settle down now. Although, even if the rift does start spitting out more of that strange lightning, we should still be alright as long as we've got Olivia. Indeed, we should be. It's good to have her at our side. You know something, Yurida? We may never agree on who's got right about Almighty Sinnoh, but you poor clan folk aren't all bad in my book. Yeah, well, you Diamond Clan people suck. Look who's finally seen reason. You're the person who's been actively, like, disparaging his faith. Like, don't even. Anyway, now that we've called the last noble, I said we pay grim old Commander Kamado a visit and see if we'll finally crack a smile for us. Okay. Yay! I imagine they probably would not have let you come down here since all of his attacks were focused up here. I don't remember if I've gone and checked this out, so we're gonna check this out before we go. I just noticed this as I was getting a request from the other camp. Okay, nothing much in here. There's a wisp. Maybe this is where you catch a legendary or something. Hmm, Mace Quillo and Avalok, fantastic stuff as always. Should the commander Ziggler the waiting your port to the village? All right, I want to see what uh, Arisu has in terms of styles. I just finished her mischievous request, and then she wants a Curlia, but my Curlia evolved into a Gardevoir, uh, and I just have a bunch of Ralts so I can evolve one, but I don't have a Curlia. <laughs> so I can't complete that quite yet. What do you have? I want to see what you've got. I think starting this in is new. Okay. Oh my god, Modern Bob. You could just literally look like a Galaxy Team member. So in reality, I paid money for kind of nothing. There aren't... I don't like any of the styles that are currently here. I mean, I guess the tied back is probably the better one to the newer ones. So whatever. Let's do it. We'll go with it for now. Cool. We're done. Not a bad look, wouldn't you say? The last thing. Hat or no hat. I'll wear it. Gotcha. Thanks for coming. 
Mechanical box. Ouch. I think it's probably the one for... It's one of the Rotom things, probably. Probably wash. Maybe or, or microwave. Ah, yes, indeed. It is the microwave. I have an Adam and Gudra, and I just realized it. Well, it's probably not all bad, though. I guess we can look up and see what Hisuian Gudra's stats are. Alright, his Hisuian, the Hisuian form is, does have a better special attack. But its attack isn't much worse, so... It's kind of it's kind of average. I was gonna give it flash cannon, but since it's got a better physical attack stat, it's probably actually just better to stick with it. Wait, what's happening to Bojean? So, uh, sorry to break it to you. It's Cascoon. A little longer, blossom beautiful. You can do it, Bojean. I don't know when it. At one po what point it would evolve into a, a Cascoon, but it's kind of wild that he's only got it to at least one level. <gasps> Hurry, you evolved the Numbreon! Oh my god, I love it. Perfect, good choice. Hey, Kamado. Each of the Pokemon numbers became fuzzy. Now each of them has been quelled. We still have no explanation of why this calamity befell us, but I'm glad to see it put to an end. And I think peace will be restored to sue him by the hand of a mysterious Riftborn helper. Hmm. When tomorrow dawns, it'll be dawn and a world restored to normalcy. At long last, we will return to our normal lives. Good news, of the Wallflower, letting us have a good long rest. Don't forget, so because the work is not over. It's not until our people can live here in Hisui without fearing the Pokemon around us. Thanks for the nice size of having a potato mochi, Benny old chum. If there's anything else you'd recommend, but I mean, bring it out. Now that Avalok Squall 2, we can survey all over Hisui. Certainly, I have my reservations with that Avalok needed quelling, but it means being calm to everyone, supposed we did the right thing. I hate to think what kind of havoc that Frenzy Nobles could, could have wreaked if Livy never came to us. Still, even with all the noble squall, the rift doesn't seem to be closing, huh? Although, wait. If the rift were to disappear, would that mean Olivia'd be stuck here? Not sure. Well, little TV sir, the very practice of investigating things but now, we're looking in the bedroom for a solution. I have no doubt. And if we don't, we always have a home here in Jubilee Village, Olivia. Now that tomorrow's work is soon upon us, it'll be another hard day of work for the Survey Corps. Don't forget what we got to sit, sit on. Nothing likes than a complete Pokedex! With you around, the Pokedex is as good as complete. Hey, how about I tag along as your assistant? Assist- Oh, sorry. Assistant, come now, Ray. Don't say yourself short. You're full fledged member of the Survey Corps, too. Well, sure, I guess I am. In any case, time for a hearty meal and a heavy sleep. Okay. Bakum. Instead of kaboom. I don't know if that was Pokemon's cry or if that was an actually like an explosion. Disaster looming. Oh, great. Go outside and see what's happening. I'm going to leave it as a cliffhanger. Hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, like, appreciate it in the next episode. We'll see what's happening. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you all later.